Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Mr. Ahmed Shamim Pizada, who is the director of the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority. Thank you very much for inviting me. For well, thank you and welcome to the studio. Now, I'd like to start off by asking a little bit about the fact that there's considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies on ICTs as a power for good as an enabler for good, for development, for the benefit of the people, uh, for families, communities and nations. What's your personal perspective on this? Yeah, as, as an enabler, yes, but uh, not as an end product. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm very much confident that uh, ICT has great role in development and uplifting of the communities and nations. Uh, for this, you know that uh, there are uh, numerous uh, example. Uh, I would start with the, you know, that uh, basic where from where the ICT enabler or ICT starts with the basic telephone with SMS service to the new regime, new era telephone with smartphones having apps, Broad, uh, broadband connectivity. So this 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 phone is having a great great role in you know creating the enabling environment for the ICT. You know that uh, word has gone through since centuries. Uh, the technological evolution, which termed as industrial revolution. The first generation, second generation, and third generation industrial revolution has a great impact on human life and social uplifting of the societies. Now, we are in, in the technological evolution of fourth generation industrialization, which would totally alter the life, living, work style of the people. So, ICTs, the word digital, would be common in all these revolutions and activities. You know that thousands of people would be connected and similarly billions of device, devices would be connected. These devices, to get people together, would have a great role in connectivity in, in ICTs if a multiplying factor is with the emerging technologies like 3D printing, artificial intelligence, uh, uh, internet of things, these kind, you know that with these technologies, the ICT and connectivity would have a great power to change the lives of the people. If we go to the global statistics, you know that uh, uh, the IT report says that there were 1991 million internet connections in 2010. And it is now, in 2016 report, it is uh, 3,385 million subscribers. And uh, in the same scenario, if you come to the Asian le Asia level, so the mobile subscriber were in 2010, 897 uh, million, and they are now 16, 1675 million subscribers. Furthermore, if we go, the 70% of the youth is connected with the uh, or is, is connected or you can say the online. So these all factors if we combine having a great role in ICTs. In, further, in addition I would add uh, some few uh, uh, examples as well that uh, the World Bank report says in collaboration with ITU that 10% increase in mobile broadband penetration would raise 
1.4 percent in GDP, which is a very key, very key indicator. Similarly, the broadband, 10 percent penetration, not mobile broadband, overall broadband, the GSM report says that increase 0.92 percent in the GDP. So, you, uh, further, if we go, if we add 1,000 connections, broadband connections in the system, it will create directly or indirectly 33, uh, you know, the jobs. So that, you know, that all we link, that's, we will see that how strong is the ICT for connectivity, for the lives of the people, everything would be related to IC will be connected and will be the with the enability of the ICTs in the country would have a great role. Now this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the sustainable development goals in 2015. Perhaps you could provide some examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development in Pakistan. Pakistani parliament is the first parliament adopted the SDGs in the nation's development plan. Ministry of Planning, Development and Reforms has, in collaboration with UNDP, created a unit, SDG unit, in the Ministry of Planning. This unit is also collaborating in liaison with the uh, provincial SDGs implementation units. Further, you know that uh, SDGs, ICT development has correlation with the SDGs, Sustainable Development. That is, if, uh, if you have development in ICT sector, there would be development in, in the SDGs as well. And that correlation is approximately 89%. Especially the SDGs like... Uh, if we go to the SDG 3, that health, related to health, SDG 4, quality education, SDG 9, infrastructure, industrialization, innovation. So they are directly linked to the ICTs. Further, uh, if we uh, go to the uh, this one, uh, uh, as sustainable development, uh, Government has re, uh, recently passed a policy in the approved in the uh, cabinet that is uh, Pakistan, digital Pakistan policy, which is a very important policy and it is taking care of all SDGs what the uh, uh, UN has uh, given uh, 17 S, uh, sustainable development goals. It caters all of them and there's a plan for the government to you know implement sdgs and to monitor in further there's some uh, i would must say there's a government is sustainable development goals is implementing like uh, government with the help of usf you know universal service fund uh, 8 million subscribers are being provided 3G services and basic, basic telephony services uh, to 6,000 villages. Similarly, optical fiber has been laid down in uh, 5,100 kilometers just to connect 79 counties in the far-flung areas to, br to bring them on the national backbone so they would have also the connectivity. Then government has uh, introduced women and ICT, another organization is Ignite. This is R&D fund in Pakistan. And they have introduced uh, ICT women and girls. So they, in collaboration with Microsoft, uh, there is a program for the uh, ICT women and girls that would be trained, would be uh, having certificate from there, and then they would be taken on the employ employability portal so that they would be uh, serving the community in terms of jobs, in their in terms of their personal need, and 
to develop the society. I just wanted to ask you about half the world's population are connected to the internet, the other half is not. What is Pakistan doing to get everyone connected? I know that you touched upon this already, but perhaps you could just in uh, no, a nutshell. Yes, I would. Uh, this is purely, you know, that my organization and uh, the uh, the uh, role of the authority is the enabler role. Enab enabler, we are uh, rather than the police. So the government has given the policy, the new policy uh, in, uh, in 2015. We, are, we have implemented the policy immediately, some of the issues. With this policy, three auctions done. And uh, in 2014, next generation mobile services licensing were awarded. So, you know that uh, with this mobile services licensing, uh, 3G and 4 services, 3G and 4G services are available in the country. And they are, they are playing a great role in the life of the people that so many applications have been developed, so many uh, businesses are being, you know, uh, facilitated with this one. Further, that, uh, you know, the figures, what I would quote is very important under the policy that in 2014, there were only 13 million mobile broadband subscribers. But now we have 62 million mobile broadband subscriber. To, sorry, 62 million mobile uh, broadband subscriber. Out of which 59 million are mobiles. There are 151 million mobile phone customers, and uh, the tele density is 75 percent. The in terms of e-commerce, it has a great load. Pakistan e-commerce volume is uh, for 60 to 100 million US dollars and we are anticipating it to 1 billion US dollars by 2020. So the government has, PTA and State Bank of Pakistan has created a third party uh, service provider uh, facility to the bank, to the operator so that e-transaction can be made on the uh, uh, by the consumers. In addition, the uh, word joint Alibaba is uh, also taken interest in Pakistan e-commerce and they have signed an MOU with the uh, uh, Trade Development Authority to bring SMEs in the realm of e-commerce. So, you know, this branchless banking, banks and mobile operators provide together providing the facilitation to general to the or consumers and consumers can do every kind of uh, you know transaction through this system. So with this all ecosystem and uh, ecosystem, you know the country is day by day flourishing. So with the with with this usage of ICT, so connectivity with in Pakistan is very good with the population of two two ten million people, two hundred ten million people, and sixty percent out of which is the youth. So there is a great adoption of technology of the youth in the country. Let's talk a little bit uh, about um, anything else that you might like to add in terms of, I know that you've obviously been getting your message across here to, to participants at the Plenty Potentiary Conference, but is there anything that you would like to add here to the, the wider audience as well? First, uh, first of all, I would uh, be congratulating the uh, UAE government for organizing such a good, uh, uh, such a big organization and it is very much comfortable for the delegates and for all of the people very well arrangements they have done uh, second the one of the most important thing uh, what uh, what what i would be suggesting to itu that uh, we may have some code of conduct or some regime for the social media uh, companies or so social media organization the reason is that there's a great difference between the uh, environment in the West and East. The, the, the problems of East are quite different than there is 
मिडल ईस्ट ईस्टर्न वर्ल्ड मिडल ईस्ट अरब कंट्रीज वी हैव डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स वेस्टर्न डेवलप्ड वर्ल्ड एज अ डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम सो वट आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट दिस इज़ प्योरली माई पर्सनल व्यू पॉइंट एंड आई वुड से दैट आई जी एफ एंड डब्ल्यू आई एस डब्ल्यू एस आई एस विसिस शुड बी मर्ज और शुड बी ब्रिंग टूगेदर सो दैट आई टी यू मे हैव सम रोल इन द सोशल मीडिया यू वुड से कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट दैट इज़ द माई Uh, suggestion to it it's i th- i think that's a very diffi- uh, difficult work but it's required the time needs it well mr basara thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio and uh, we hope to catch up with you again at some stage in the future too thank you very much thank, thank you. you thank you